Drone footage taken on Sunday showed the destruction left across Gaza with buildings flattened to rubble. We are looking at our memories, the houses, the apartments. We lost everything we own, from furniture to all of our memories and childhood memories. Everything is destroyed. Civilians in Gaza and in Israel are still picking up the pieces. Three days after a ceasefire seems to have ended the latest round of fighting between Israeli troops and Palestinian militants. The calm may be fleeting. International efforts to keep the peace continue. Egyptian mediators have been shuttling between Israel and the Gaza Strip, which is ruled by the Islamist group Hamas. The Crown Prince of the United Arab Emirates on Sunday said his nation was ready to step in and shepherd peace talks. And U.S. President Joe Biden said Washington will work with United Nations agencies to expedite humanitarian aid for Gaza. The 11 days of violence saw Hamas launch rockets at Israeli cities and Israeli artillery and airstrikes pound the Gaza Strip. Medical officials said 248 people were killed in Gaza, while rocket fire killed 13 people in Israel. We have to be pro-Israel, but we have to be pro-Palestinian. Speaking on CBS's Face the Nation, Democratic Senator Bernie Sanders on Sunday called for an even-handed U.S. approach to the conflict. So you have a very difficult situation. You have Hamas, a terrorist group. You have a right-wing Israeli government. And the situation is getting worse. And all that I'm saying is that the United States of America has got to be leading the world in bringing people together, not simply supplying weapons to kill children in Gaza. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken is set to visit Israel and the occupied West Bank next week.